Hello watchers, today I've got something that I said I wouldn't do <laughs> and that's by another Artful box. Um, when Artful started going they advertised themselves as a quarterly subscription art box but we do have a lot of other art subscription boxes. We've got Art Snacks, we've got Scrawler, Upcrate, um, Sketchbox. There's quite a few different ones. Some are exclusive to some countries and so on and so forth. And Artful was another British one. The only other British one we've got is Scrawler. So it, I was like pitting it against Scrawler. Now, I didn't think it was about value for money at first and the fact that it was a quarterly box I thought they should have been more in it because when the first box did come out it was a little skimpy. They brought out a printmaking one afterwards as well which I I think it was the third box I think it was which I thought was fantastic um, and I could see I could start and see how it was different to an art subscription box. Um, but then they started really pushing their own branded art materials, which f for me is not a good idea. Even for a beginner, I was a bit like, because mm, I've come from the experience with gouache. I, at art school, I hated gouache. And I hate, and, and for that reason, I never got into gouache until quite recently um because the stuff was chalky it was like poster pain it was you know the stuff they gave us was really shit basically so it just put me off gouache forever until i tried a friend's gouache and i was like this is creamy it is velvety it is just a joy to work with how the hell why haven't i used this for so long so that's why i'm again sort of cheap art supplies to get someone into doing things because yeah don't get me wrong there's a lot of cheap cheap products out there that are you know just as good as the expensive branded ones but there's that it, it it's just it's a constant battle of working out what is good and what isn't good and so on and so forth so when they started pushing their own branded materials i was like nope that's it i'm done i'm out I'm out. I don't want to know anymore. But as Artful have now been around the block a little bit and they've started listening to their customers and they've started expanding more and, you know, they've really taken on board of what customers were saying, which I'm really appreciative of, which is why I'm giving them another go. However, to me, Artful is not an art subscription box. It is not like Art Snacks. It is not like Scrollers. I've made my peace with that. I've even made my peace that they still have their own branded products. Because of instead of it being an art subscription box, they are now marketing themselves as an art school in a box. Which makes so much more sense for Artful. So they are not an art subscription box, in my view. That's the way I'm defining them between the two. And there is no other box on the market that is like Artful. So they are in their own league. And I've got to make peace with that and stop making comparisons to the other art subscription boxes. Now. The first few, yes. But now, no. I will treat them individually as Artful Art School in a box as... They are very well branding themselves on because they are well aware they are not an art subscription box. So, <laughs> after my justification and rationale as to why I have another artful box when I said I wouldn't ever have an artful box, ever, 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 you should never say never. Um, let's get into this one, which is the latest one that was released in July. Um, it is still is July, <laughs> but I think it was a little bit... Ah, it's supposed to be June's boxes, but it was delayed, so it was released in July. But it's here. And it's all about gouache. And if anyone's watched any of my other videos, you do know I am queen. I am queen. I wish I was queen of gouache. Um, I am keen on very much becoming very proficient in, in gouache, you know, but I am very much still a learner, like perhaps a lot of you guys are as well. Um, let me know in the comments below where you are at with gouache or if it's just something that you want to try. Um, 
or you just don't like it or if you are an expert pro and if you are give me lots of tips and tricks please <laughs> um but yeah just let me know where your sort of journey is with gouache but yeah i'm gonna stop talking now let's just get into the box So we've got a nice pull peel, as I call them. Oh, hey. Um, just letting you, uh, they're just letting you know to hashtag them because they really wanted to see what everybody's creating. So first up, oh, we've got a nice A4 print of, I know the name of this plant, but I can't figure it off the top of my head. <laughs> Um, not sure of the artist, but I'm sure it will tell us in the magazine. Then we've got a artful colour chart. Regular new content, um, throughout the, oh, they, they release a lot of tutorials. Um, and things. Then we can, there's a chance to now upgrade your boxes so you can get some extra supplies. If you really love working with a particular box, you can then get some more bits. Um, I wonder if they offer a discount for if you've got, so if you've got the gouache box, do you then get a discount on the upgrade box? Do they do that or is it, I don't know. We, we shall find out. Um, we'll share your work on their Instagram as well. That's just more, mainly packaging, but to keep everything in the box. Oh, this is quite heavy. So we've got Artful. Oh, I like how they've done this. It's a paper box and it's got artful embossed on it. Then on the side, it's got 12 gouache tubes embossed as well. And then also, let's get that bit sticky. It's got the tubes in gouache in there. So it's very minimalistic, but I quite like it. I like it. That's really nicely done. I like that. So let's open it up. So I've got some foam and then, ooh, these are big tubes. Let's get the white out. Yeah, so these are 25 mils. Um, because they are their own branded stuff, it's very limited on what the information is. Like there's no pigment information or la light fastness rating on these, um, but that's okay. Does look like creamy, does look quite nice, but the proof will be in the testing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So 24 tubes of colors. Nice, 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 nice little set. Then we've got, good idea with a tab there to get it out of the box. Very nicely thought of. Uh, mixed media pad, um, 300 GSM, textured. Oh. It's nice thick stuff. This is nice. Nice heavyweight one. Um, A4 sized. Then we've got some bits of cardboard. Oh, then we've got a artful F grade pencil. I do like the F grade pencils. Then we've got a slightly coated 280 GSM board suitable for wet and dry media cards. So there's one, two, three, four in there with envelopes. I think they give these in every box. I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> but it's a nice little thing. Um, then we've got our hefty magazine. Let's hope it's not full of advertisements like the first one was. So that's it that's in the box as well as a little pouch of paintbrushes. Oh, this is, these are teeny tiny. Okay, so we've got a number one, a very long round. Where's the camera at? There's the camera. Let's see. Very long round there. Then we've got a number three tipped um, round a normal round 
then we've got a 0.5 look how tiny this thing is that is so small and then we've also got a number three angled shader as I call them so they're teeny tiny brushes which is nice because I was actually looking for a teeny tiny new brush the other day so <laughs> I have one um, great timing um, right okay just a little tidbit on the side we've got a surface we've got the brushes we've got the paint we've even got a little pencil to sketch out what we're doing um, we've even got a little colour chart which is okay I mean you could have just always used paper for that but they're an art school in a box so I think the one thing that's missing from this is a palette of some sort um, I mean if cost is an issue obviously a ceramic plate is too much palette is too much for well because they are expensive um, so I'm not sure how they would get around doing that in the box as well. But they could have put just like a cheap plastic one in. Or, or the ultimate cheap thing, and is the best thing for everybody, is just a sheet of acetate. That would have done as a palette. They've done that before actually, I think. Yeah, the printing box, they did that before. So just a sheet of acetate would have been nice to use as a palette. Or greaseproof paper even. Um, so if, if anybody has got this and they don't have a palette, use a piece of tracing paper, grease proof paper, tin foil, um, acetate if you've got it, a plate or a mug um, or just a saucer, you know, there's lots of things you can use as a palette but I think as the brand in themselves art school in a box I think a palette would have been a nice addition. So with that being said let's have a quick look in the magazine, make sure it's not full of advertisements. So the first thing is an advertisement telling us about more uh, of their um, tutorials, which is something a lot of the other subscription boxes don't do. They do a little bit. Art Snacks, I think, are starting to do a lot more. Um, but they don't just have tutorials from like one person, Artful. Um, they have from lots of different people, which is lots of different styles and techniques. So I think that's much better. Then the first thing is all about the pricing, which I completely ignore because it's their own brand of products. See? Palette. It would have been lovely to have had a palette. Um, so it's a brief history all about gouache. I'm only going to quickly flick through this because it is a, 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 a thick magazine. The basics of gouache, the editor's notes, um, which is Mr. Jamie, who pretty much runs the whole shebang. Jamie Mitchell. Um, and then the contents pages, um, get more great content. Again, they're showing a palette. Was there supposed to be a palette in here? Is that why it was delayed? <laughs> um, artful box. Then the next page is, ah, is the up, is this the upgrade, the mixing kit? So the up upgrade box, maybe. Ah, so I see what you're doing, Artful. So in the up upgrade box, you do get this ceramic palette as well as some more brushes. And I've got to say, I like the look of this palette because it's skinny and long. I, d I don't have one like that. And also they've got nodges to rest your brushes on. I think I might have to get that just for the palette. <laughs> Bloody Artful, making me spend more money. Anyway. Um, so the first interview is with a Stephen Collins, a graphic no novelist. Um, yeah, I'm just going to start flicking through otherwise. Oh, he does, he does some lovely stuff. I like this illustration style. Oh, Rachel Victoria. Yeah, um, I know her stuff. I love her stuff. She does very nice urban spaces, um, which is why I've, I've noticed her because if you've watched any of my other videos I do like to try and keep things related to urban or architecture. Um, so I'm not a botanical painter is what I'm trying to say <laughs> or a portrait painter. I, I do like the 
urban landscapes and architecture in general. And then we've got mountains. So we've got some tutorials in the magazine as well. Some more interviews with different... Oh, this is colourful. <gasps> this is lovely. I could see that on a card, that on a greetings card. That would be lovely. Lovely jabbly. But very much a different colour palette to... Victoria's. Hers is more muted and her, hers is more bright and colourful. So, as I said, they have a lot of different people um, together in one box to show you different styles and how people just use the medium differently, which is what I, I really do like. I do like Artful just for the magazine now. <laughs> the magazine from now onwards, hopefully. Um, not the original magazines. Uh, let it go, woman. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go, let it go. Sorry if I've triggered anybody there. Um, but yeah, ooh, is this Sublime? No, it's not Sublime, it's Claudia. Um, but there's another artist that I follow on Instagram that does pretty much this style, I think, especially with the eyes being like that, which I thought it was hers, but it's not. But it's not. It's just as lovely, but it's not her. Ooh, oh, I've never seen gouache used like this before. Very impressionistic sort of style rather than poster style, which is nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I like the detail on the palm trees there with the dry brushing. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Ah, the house plant still life. Does it tell me what plant it is? I don't know what plant it is. I just can't remember the bloody name. But yeah, so it's shown you actually the tutorial how she's created that. Is it a she? Looks like a she. Possibly a she. I don't know. Um, t again, advertising for more tutorials. So there is so much in this actually. I'm so happy with this magazine. Um, some other bits and bobs. Another tutorial. Another interview. Wow, this, there's so much in it. <gasps> Hello. Ooh. I've never seen gouache in this sort of style before. This is sort of like a... Uh, this is highly detailed because normally gouache is used like post, post, poster illustrative style. But wow. Wow. I love this. I think I've just discovered a new favourite artist, Jessica Rose. This is lovely jubbly. Um, ten percent off art supplies and anything else. So I'm guessing you can get ten percent off your upgrade box when you sign up to the new newsletter. Um, and then Panair as well. Andrew Pe Pe Pina. Sorry if I'm pronouncing people's names wrong as well. I'm so bad with names. But this is lovely, lovely jubbly. This. Is worth the damn box I've got to admit the magazine is really well done very well done anyway let's get in getting messy with some paint shall we and see how these guys flow so we might as well do the um, swatching see the reason why I said you could just use your paper is because it's always good to test the paint on the surface you're going to use in my little experience that I have um... see I immediately need a palette <laughs> so where's my palette Ooh. Ooh, almost broke the plate but I'm just going to use a plate so you can see that you can just use a plate. So, let's put the black on first because then I can put the white over the top to see how opaque it is. So, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Coming out of the tube straight away. There's no um, binder like you get with the Windsor and Newton. Do, 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 do. I need some water as well. 
I always like to use two water jars, best I can. And I'll use the angle shader. So when I use gouache, I just like to wet the brush first and then dab it into the gouache to just loosen it just a little. And then plop it down. Oh, this flow, this, oh. Oh, I like how this flows straight away. This is nicely done. Nice, nice, nice. And of course, get our water as black as possible first. Um, this is traditional gouache as well, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, there is a thing called acrylic gouache, whereas when it's dried, even when it's dried on the palette, it's permanent, it won't budge. Um, it dries up. Whereas the traditional gouache will dry up on your palette, but you can re-wet it just like you would do with watercolours. So don't worry if you've got leftover on your palette, you can just use it again. Do not worry about it at all. That's a bit dry around the cap, which is standard with anything. Oh, look. There's a little lid on this one. A little silicone lid. I've never seen that before. No. In fact, let's just open all these paints and get them on the palette, otherwise we're going to be here all day. So that was a chocolate, br well, the midnight, uh, the, the, the black's called midnight black, the brown's called chocolate brown. Oh, another little lid. And then this golden yellow is or sand. This is what I would call an orca. Orca green, uh, green, uh, yellow. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting dead. Then we've got a pumpkin. See, I immediately unscrew the cap and want to just squeeze, but they have another little cap on. Which I don't know if you're supposed to put back on. I hope not, otherwise that's going to be so fiddly. But so far we've got some lovely Halloween colours, which is only a couple of months away. But so far, that's a nice pink. That's a raspberry jam pink, as they call it. I do like the names they've picked. Oh, take the cap off, woman. Cap, remember the cap. Oh. Oh. Hell. <laughs> it keeps going. <laughs> there must have been a little bit of an air bit at the bottom of that tube, but that's okay. That's lavender. Lavender. And green. Oh. Oh yeah, the cap. I'm not showing you very well, am I? <laughs> I'm just excited to use this. I do love gouache. And I do like trying all different types of gouache as well, so. Yeah. That, um, the green was grassy green and then the yellow is sunflower yellow. And then the red is postbox red, because here in the UK we have red letterboxes to post our mail. Red is the colour of the Royal Mail, whereas I think in the States the US post is blue. Um, they've called this one ultramarine, which it does look like an ultramarine, so yeah, I can understand them that reasoning. I think the only other, I know I said I'm not going to compare it to brands, but um, the brand that does do bigger tubes as well, if you do want a branded one with bigger tubes, is Sminky. And I think it's the designer gouache that they do um, in the bigger tubes. So not the artist quality, the designer one. And the difference between the designer and the artist quality gouache is that the designer is not as light fast um, as the artist quality. And then we'll just plop some light there. That's very runny. It's okay. So, 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 so. Let's get switcheroosies.
again just wet the paintbrush just a little I'm going to go in with dark to light um, and just go straight in I put a little bit too much water on this one which is why it's coming quite streaky that's my full but the great thing about um, traditional gouache is that you can use it I like watercolour so you can really water it down um, and get some really light wa light washes for underpaintings and other things or you can use it straight out of the tube like I'm just going to show you with the ochre uh, not the ochre the um, sand and you can see how thick it is but it's still able to move around it's not like acrylic when you're trying to use it straight out of the tube and it just doesn't want to move but I always find it's best just to dampen your brush and it gets that nice consistency and that is what a lot of people do have trouble with with gouache is the consistency um, but again it just it's just practice um, as you can see I've just used a little bit of water and it's just made it so much more quicker to put down on the paper and maneuverability um, without being streaky like the brown was because I put too much um, water in the brown <clears throat> my voice keeps going I'm losing it let me just get the nice pink but obviously if you don't use any water you can get some br dry brush strokes like I've just done there because I didn't use any water on the pink but now I am but these are going down really nicely on the page. I'm quite impressed by these. I would definitely say that these, again, I know I'm comparing them to brands, <laughs> but in terms of usability, I would definitely say they are on par with the Arteza and the Windsor & Newton, for sure. for shorties. I mean I am a big lover of my whole bang gouache um, in the whole bang gouache you can use straight out of the tube and it just moves like this does as well but <clears throat> so you don't have to worry too much about consistency on some of the colors it's a little bit thicker like the cobalt teal and things but I think it's because it's just so packed with pigment um, which is better for colour anyway. But um, these are just going on lovely jubbly. Again, I've put too much water. I have to say though, they are a strange colour palette. Or are they? Am I imagining it? Or is it just because I've gone dark to light? <laughs> probably because I've gone dark to light but when I'm looking at it on the um, plate it actually does look fine <laughs> it's just me rambling ignore me ignore but yeah these are just smooth really nicely um, the other proof in the pudding as well with gouache is when it's fully dry if you sort of run your finger over it and see if it's velvety or if it's chalky because that's usually a dead giveaway of of the quality of gouache. Nice beautiful primary red even though they've named it postbox red which yeah it's postbox red. <laughs> There's no getting away from it but yeah it glides on beautifully. Um, I don't think I told you the colour of this blue. This is Kingfisher, but this is to me a callback teal, which is very nice, very nice indeed. And then let me just put another layer of the brown on because it's very streaky. I'm not doing it justice. 
she says, now putting more water. <laughs> I'm doing the same trick. There we go. You want a nice creamy texture. Now, we want to be able to get some of the white and see how opaque it is. Now, I'm not going to add any water to this white because it's already quite runny coming out of the tube. And all I'm going to do is put a streak to see how opaque it is which it's not very opaque and already you can see that just with going over it twice that it's also reactivating the black underneath so these are very easily reactivated so be careful when you're layering up um, <clears throat> but yeah overall I'm quite impressed by this box the art school in the box it's not a subscription box i mean for someone that's never used gouache before i think this is a fantastic start um but just as i told you about my story earlier about my ex first experience with gouache is just don't go on if you buy if you start out buying cheap products and you find that out that you know you really hate using the material you don't have to go and get a full set of very expensive just go and get one tube of say i don't know the sminky or the um a whole bank just get one tube and try the expensive brand and see the difference so you don't have to buy a whole set just one tube of any color and just see what the difference is before you go nope i hate that i don't want to use that medium because with the cheap sets yes you'll be able to get a whole array of colors quite cheaply um, but you can just use it in your sketchbook and get used to just using paint um <clears throat> but don't hold it against the medium because i think with cheap brands of gouache um it is very easy to become deterred with gouache and very difficult to control it so like i say just get one tube of expensive one just to see that there is a difference to give gouache a fair chance <laughs> i'm an av advocate for gouache um so yeah but with this this for me i think is a great start because um they they glide on the paper very smoothly um i can see as they're drying they are becoming a little bit streaky which is a sign of you know it's on par with the Arteza gouache. Um, the Windsor & Newton doesn't streak, so it's not as good as the Windsor, Windsor & Newton. But it is a great start for beginners. For I mean, like me, I dabble in a lot of different mediums. Like I love pastel pencils and I love printmaking and gouache. So they're very free, free very different mediums. So even like a professional printmaker, if they just want to get started in gouache, then I'd recommend this box. Um, but yeah, Artful, you've done a good job. My favourite thing of the whole thing is this magazine that I'm going to have a good bloody read of. Um, because you've got so much variety of different artists, illustrators and tutorials. Just what you need in a book. And of course, you've got the videos as well to go hand in hand with it. So yes, I'm very pleased with this. Um, I will also say I got this box on a sort of buy one, get one free deal. Um, so I do have another Artful box coming, which is the screen printing box, which I'm a little nervous about because I've never used screen printing at all. So again, that's going to emphasize my theory of Artful art school in a box not a subscription box because I'm completely new to screen printing so it will be completely newbie whereas I'm a little bit familiar with well I'm quite a bit familiar with gouache so yeah so I'm just waiting for that one to arrive and I will do another video all about that and also challenge myself of producing something with it <laughs> I do like to challenge myself don't I uh, with a medium I've never used before so hopefully you've subscribed so then you'll know when that's popped up especially if you hit the bell as well um, so you get the no notification that I've uploaded that one uh, as well 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you guys, A, use gouache. If you love it, you hate it, you want some tips and tricks, or you want to give me tips and tricks, yes, please. Um, or if you use Artful, and if you only pick a few boxes of theirs, or if you just continuously get them, um, let me know your experiences with Artful as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you with the screen printing box. Let me know if you are excited for that one. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. In the meantime, happy architecting.